In modern times, it's easy for us to save our memories through TikToks, videos, photos. But what about stepping back in time to a time capsule with different kinds of photos? Black and white photos. I actually remember when that cornerstone was set. Looking back to the good old days, that's what alumna Sharon Stapleton does when she sees these old photos, memorabilia, and drawings. It just made me feel happy um, that I actually am still alive <laughs> when, when everything was opened. While the school building no longer exists, there is one thing that remains. Some of those friends I have to this day. That's more important to me than the actual building. Although I did spend a lot of time over in the schoolyard playing jacks and things like that that nobody probably plays anymore. <laughs> Marilyn Heenan was in kindergarten during the year of the capsule. Seeing its contents makes her nostalgic. You could walk to school, you could, walk, you could go home after school to one of your friends and make sure you were home by, by five and you, you know, even if they lived on Oak Park Road and you were down on Avenue G or something. It just, you could ride your bike, you could just do so many things. Roughly more than 200 items made it into the time capsule. This display is just a small sampling of what was inside. Still graduates hope the class photos, student artwork and newspaper articles give an inkling of what staff and students were once a part of. Whether you think it was a better time or, a, or not, just Nice to see where, where, we, where we were and where we've come. Reporting in Council Bluffs, Isabella Basco, 3 News Now.